do you know what this is have you ever seen this kind of module anywhere its uh, appearance is similar to a train that is steam engine train that is which is which is an old one at the back side you can see it is written as something like a dc 1.5 volt that which means this module is working in 1.5 volt this is called ignition sparker unit this unit is used in auto ignition gas stove whatever is the fuel type like butane or lpg etc this is the module used in those gas stove for igniting the burner this is a very long lasting module and also very cheaper too you know in gas lighter how it is working a piezo electric uh, device is actually making the spark but in this module an electronic uh, equipment or electronic circuit is actually making the spark its outer shell seems to be a molded one all the circuitry is actually kept safely inside this mold it seems like a molded one we will break this for you and will show you whatever things are inside this module i will show you whatever things are written inside this you can see neutral or negative is shown line or plus is shown a ground symbol at the center part is shown this is uh, you can see this is working with uh, 1.5 volt so 1.5 volt this type of battery is needed that is duracell type battery you cannot use normal d type cells uh, for this purpose because this circuit requires more current to make the spark and this battery one single cell battery will last for more than 3 3 uh, years this type of battery is a bit costlier than the normal d type cells duracell batteries are not leak proof so do not buy this and keep it for future use because it may become leaked leaked and will be damaged this battery will last long as i told you it is it will be lasting for more than 3 years 3 to 4 years i replaced the battery after 4 years there are different types of this kind of modules available some uh, this one is working with 1.5 volt battery some are working with 3 volt that is 1.5 into 2 to two duracell batteries some are working in 230 volt that is you can directly connect 230 volt line neutral and or earth to this kind of thing and it will be working so you have to buy the exact replacement of your existing module next uh, i will show you the connection details these two are the outputs which are connecting to the burners uh, in my home uh, my ho gas stove is having two burners so uh, this module has two outputs and each output will go to each burner now i will tell you from where you can buy this module this module even though this is an electronic module this will not be available in any of the electronic spare part shop instead you have to buy this from a shop where uh, spare parts of gas stove is selling this is easily and cheaply available in the shop where spares of gas stove and gas cylinders are sold i was about to buy two output modules because my gas stove has two burners but when i go went to the shop for buying this they do not have this in stock they are having stock with the modules which are having four output modules the, the power supply is same 1.5 what i am planning to do is i will be connecting this four output module to my gas stove with the two output connected to the burners and i will leave two output without connection i don't know whether it will work or last but i will make a try let us test this module for testing uh, i am not cash so soldering anything to this input that is power supply line instead of that i will be just uh, connecting the wire on on that uh, uh, terminals i do not have a junction uh, or connectors for this we are just touching the wires in that in that terminal that is enough because we are only testing it we are not permanently connecting like this to the uh, to it If you have a terminal connector with you then it will be more good because uh, connecting the wire to that terminal is not that much easy I took some time to uh, connect that wire to that terminal I will connect the battery to it please uh, listen to the tick tick sound which is coming from this module please listen more careful on it Did you hear that one I will connect it once again I will connect a wire at the output terminal and will show you the spark I have connected the wire from one of the output terminal and now I will switch off the light inside the studio then only you can see the spark now I am connecting the power supply do not touch at the positive terminal of the battery and watch carefully We 
we cannot keep this uh, switch on for a very long time because this unit may become damaged because this this is normally used for a short term because just to light the burner that's it the spark has happened from this terminal to this one normally the output terminal need to be connected to the positive terminal for having the powerful spark i will connect this module into the gas dove and will show you how this is working i am not quite sure whether it will work uh, works perfectly fine or not because the spark if we are leaving the output terminals uh, uh, without any connection whether it will create problem or not that also i do not know after connecting it only we have we have, uh, we will get clear picture about how uh, this terminal the, this module will be acting whether it will works or not or everything i will show you the, i will give you the result of this do not anticipate that the gas stove will be very clean it is used by my mother and the gas stove is around six years old you can expect its cleanness and please don't feel bad lengthwise also this new module is different i, I can only connect one screw on it the second screw i cannot connect instead of that I, what i am using is i will place a double-sided tape on it and will stick on it that's enough because we are not shaking the gas stove frequently so it's okay now i will uh, open this to you uh, to show you what is inside this module this seems to be a molded one i am i'm not quite sure what i am uh, trying to use i'm not using a, a circular saw for cutting it instead of that i am using a hacksaw blade so i can cut from this area to this one and slowly cut it open i will do it and come back guys uh, this this was not a molded one i thought that it was a molded one i was actually cutting from this area to this one very slowly i was uh, cutting it very carefully i was cutting it then now uh, when i am cutting it i i saw that this uh, bottom part was coming uh, coming out that is actually splitting up so i used the uh, hacksaw blade end uh, that is the uh, end of the hacksaw blade to put it open so it is not uh, a molded one uh, i can see some uh, white part white uh, gum on it this uh, two connection is actually going inside that white part that is very strong not that much symbol it's very strong one white part the circuit board i will open it for you inside that white part most probably a tesla light coil will be there a chalk will be there for which will generate uh, high voltage or uh, high voltage it was closed like this you can see uh, how uh, it seems to be a molded one but we can sp split it up like this using a tuser and all we can split it like this so when you are opening it you don't need to cut it down uh, instead of that uh, just use a use a tuser to split it up uh, split it split the bottom part and uh, make it open and also the circuit that is actually soldered these two points are actually soldered to that uh, uh, circuit so we, we cannot push it uh, downwards instead of that you have to desolder it because i made a mistake i just pushed it and it was broken we have to desolder it to make it open you can see it contains a very few parts a transformer a transistor a capacitor and some more things these output are actually uh, going through the uh, that white gum because most probably it contains a chalk at a, a coil or something inside i will i will break it for you and show you what is inside that white part the circuit board is similar to a um, the board the circuit of a mosquito bat but the thing is the transformer it's not using the output of transformer directly instead of that the output is directly given to a chalk you can see two wires are actually going inside that white part white gum and uh, there actually it is raising the voltage the transistor used is s8050 which is an npn transistor uh, you can i can i think you can replace this with uh, with the bc547 or bc546 because the ratings are similar only a few components are there in this circuit the uh, important thing is that transformer which is a 5 pin that is three input and two output uh, let's see what is inside this uh, white part that i will show you uh, for this type of circuit the output chalk will not be faulty most of the time the faulty thing will be this transformer and the capacitor that high voltage capacitor normally it is 0.47 and 250 volt 
on what basis i am telling is in mosquito bat and all normally this transformer and the capacitor is becoming faulty this is why the transformer is faulty is because the wire used uh, inside this uh, winding of the transformer is that is the, uh, the copper wire used is very thin so when uh, when the heat increases in the uh, in this transformer the insulation will go and will become short this is a normal cause uh, this transformer uh, uh, why the transformer is becoming faulty now i will show you what is in inside this white part i have broken this part and this white part was so strong and i have to use the hammer to make it break and also you can see the uh, the thing is the center part that is a ferrite core that black one is a ferrite core and in that ferrite core on top of the ferrite ferrite core they have wound out a coil that is it's similar to a tesla coil or chalk a coil with a gauge of 22 or 20 for 22 i i see it seems 22 gauge and it is uh, and it is actually uh, wound out down wound out on top of a ferrite core round fer ferrite core and they secure the winding using this white gum i don't know why this uh, they have used this white gum because uh, if anyone knows about this what is this white gum please comment on this video because uh, i need to know what it is because because if, uh, if they can use a glue stick or uh, glue gun or or glue stick which can, which is also very safe to for this uh, i don't know why they used this type of gum, gum mostly the number of turns of this chalk will be very high because uh, it's not uh, a symbol or not to number of turns it will be very high you can see this one you can see this this one this is also the turns of that particular coil you can see the height of the uh, turns it is very high so it, it should be uh, around 500 turns in in that normally why they place this uh, coil or chalk inside this strong gum uh, th that is because of business only because if anything is going faulty don't repair it you have to replace it buy a new one and use it don't try to repair by replacing the transistor capacitor transformer and all don't do it I mean, instead of that buy a new thing that so that the business will keep going the price of the auto ignition uh, uh, gas stove is very high comparing with the non auto ignition stove because this module is also cheaper because i have bought a new one that is cheaper only the what are the other things which are inside that auto ignition stove is a switch is there a battery box is there and a ignition that is power plug uh, unit is there power plug unit is it's, it's similar to a, a small uh, stainless steel uh, stuff in near to the burner these are the only additional fittings there another thing is if they are selling this uh, auto ignition gas stove at a cheaper price what will happen is the all people will buy this one this only no one will buy the uh, gas lighter so the so in uh, for a circular uh, business they are actually selling it at a high price so uh, there is nothing wrong in that let us fix this in the gas stove we have fixed the sparking module and this is the battery holder you can see some some corrosion are there in the negative terminal but it is working fine and these terminals are for the connection of batteries and sparking unit that small white jack is used for connecting the sparking unit to the sparking module you can see the sparking unit which is connected at near to the burner uh, this is the left side one and this is the right side one if you are carefully watching it you can see a spring is attached to it so that the sparking unit will always be pushed outside we have connected the batteries and the sparking unit wires to the sparking module the now we can connect the battery and we have to test it whether it is working fine or not yeah i'm i'm sure that this will work fine because we have tested everything well and that's it this is the sparking unit and the kitchen is having very good brightness that is why you cannot see the spark i have switched off the light in the kitchen now the spark is clearly visible both sparks are visible now this is the ignition switch and this single switch is used for controlling both the sparking unit in the burner that means both sparking units will be working when we press the switch and when we switch on the gas knob that burner will start flame with the help of this sparking module we can convert any ordinary gas stove to auto ignition gas stove if anybody need that video then please comment about that if so many of my friends need that then definitely i will make a video on that for you i will make it so simple that anyone with basic knowledge can make it 
If you like this video then please click like button and also share this to your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing out. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.